Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today, we got ourselves something really interesting, which is the Winchester M1894 by Wick. And this is of course not your everyday shell ejecting blaster, this is a lever action shell ejecting blaster. And of course this video wouldn't be possible without the help from Mac Potato for helping me to get this blaster. And to those who do not know who is Mac Potato, Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dart blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dart blaster just like this one. And in the same time, if you guys are also interested in more shell ejecting blasters, Mac Potato got you covered. Link is in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster receiver, the barrel, the buttstock, six shells, a bag of hardware, 20 darts, and a manual. Let us start install the blaster. First, we start with connecting the barrel with the receiver. Grab the included screws as well as the hardware and screw them together. Remember to do it in both sides. To install the buttstock, first, we take off the cap on the buttstock and it will reveal a plastic piece and a metal cylinder. Grab the provided EVA adhesive, stick it on the metal cylinder, and shove it into the plastic piece. Then put the plastic piece back into the buttstock. Connect the buttstock to the receiver, align the bolt of the cap to the hole of the plastic piece, and tighten it up with the included hardware. And this is how the blaster looks like with everything installed. The blaster comes with these tiny shells which is a lot smaller than the regular shells. Which means that the darts that came with the blaster is smaller than a regular half-length dart. This is how you put the darts into the shell. There is a door at the side of the blaster and this is where you load in the shells. After loading the first shells, there is a trick in loading the following shells. Basically, when you load in the shells, you have to put it in in a scooping motion which means that you are using the shells to scoop up the shells in front of it. And this is how it works. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. The one that I got over here is a M1894. I mean, this blaster is indeed long, but not as thick as those regular shotgun class blaster. This is more of a classic, elegant style blaster, I would say. So if you guys are into, you know, cosplay of some sort, this might be it. So the build quality of this blaster is pretty sturdy. It is, of course, made out of nylon as usual. And the body over here is clear plastic, which is super sweet. You can actually, you know, look into the internals, which is really, really beautiful because this whole internal thing is actually fully metal. Uh, the buttstock over here is, of course, I think it is nylon, but it doesn't feel like nylon, but I'm pretty sure it is some sort of a nylon. And the buttstock is pretty heavy. This whole blaster, in fact, is pretty back heavy because there's like a huge metal cylinder inside here to act as a counterbalance of some sort. The lever over here is of course made out of metal and it's pretty thin and if you try to do like the uh, the lever action thing, it kind of hurts my hand a little bit if you do it a little too rough. And the hammer over here is of course fake but it still kind of imitates like the mechanism of the Winchester. I mean take a look at this. How cool is that? I mean that shell ejecting is sweet though. Speaking of fake mechanism, there is a switch at the handle over here which I believe is a safety switch. You know what? That is fake too. 
And there is a adjustable iron sign over here, which I will probably never use because I don't think this is going to be a really accurate blaster because the shells are tiny and the darts are tiny too. To load the shell in this blaster, you don't load the shell from below. In fact, this thing actually kind of imitates the real deal where you load the shells at the side just like this, as well as the shell ejecting mechanism. It actually ejects the shells from the top of the blaster just like this. I mean, that's fun. Speaking of loading the shells, the maximum shell capacity of this blaster is five shells. The lever action is solid. The trigger pull is solid. So far, the blaster is, you know, pretty well put together. There is no uh, loose part or whatsoever. And of course, I'm pretty happy with the build quality. And here comes the question. Can we do the Terminator spin with this blaster? The answer is, no. One of the main reasons is that because the barrel is a little too long and there is a buttstock over here which kinda obstruct that spinning thing. So I guess enough with the speaking, let us go test the blaster out. Okay, okay, so we are not looking at a very high FPS performance over here. Uh, so this blaster shoots from uh, 52 FPS all the way to 60 FPS only. So this is definitely not going to be a competitive blaster. And I personally think that this is more of a collector's item or a cosplaying blaster. The accuracy of this blaster is just okay. In 5 to 7 meters, you can still kind of hit the target if you, you know, tilt the blaster enough for it. So so far, I did not encounter any jams yet, which is a good thing. But one thing that you need to take note is loading the shell. So at the very beginning, uh, loading the shells can be a little difficult. With a little bit of training, and you will slowly get used to how to load in the shells. And of course, loading the shells for a prolonged period of time kind of make my thumb feel sore. Overall, I am having quite some fun with this blaster. Definitely not the kind of blaster that you will bring to the field. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a shell ejecting lever action blaster to have fun with your kids, to play indoors this might be the one to go with so yep that's all today guys like this video if you like it dislike this video if you don't like it subscribe if you haven't already and of course i'm gonna see you in the next video adios guys